before I read my poem, I'm going to give you an introduction to the poem. Uh, last Thursday, the 17th of January, Mary Oliver and Richard Baldoff died. Some of you may know Mary Oliver, world famous and excellent poet. I have a few of her books and read, read them at my house. Richard Baldoff was only known to his family and close circle of friends. He was a hardworking dairy farmer, born on the very farm that he died at, probably more than, no more than a football field away from birth to death in physical distance. He lived there 79 of his 81 years, having bought the farm from his parents. I wish I could write like Mary Oliver. I never will. And Richard, well, I don't think anyone could work as hard as he ever did. But I learned great things from both of them. From Richard, I learned to love my family, love the Lord, and being honest in all my dealings. From Mary, I learned to pay attention, to always be amazed, to share what I see. Now the contrast of these two people, one being famous, well-written, the other quiet, humble, hardworking man. But yet, they both touched me and shaped me who I am. I got thinking about that, you know. First off, we don't have to be famous to touch other people's lives. We can just touch those around. I got thinking, what do I have to do to be remembered? And so, this is the poem. When I die, will I be remembered beyond the marker that shows where I lie? What stories of me will be told? And for how long? Will the words I write survive? What great things must I do to be remembered? Really, just two simple things, very similar in nature. One is to love, and the other is to be loved. Thank you. <laughs>